because Midgior and Bob Geldof, the men who wrote the song and who popped up in yesterday's ma- Mystery Hour, are on the line now. So, gentlemen, I, I don't know, do I owe you an apology? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Brexit Britain in a nutshell. It was, it was a no from Midgior, I think, and a yes from Bob Geldof. So, to be clear, I, I did express profound scepticism about the idea, Midge, that the money would be going anywhere except the charity, but, but you're here just to, just to clarify and dot the I's. Uh, absolutely, uh, you know the, uh, it, we have to refute that this, this is this is nonsense, and it's understandable that people, you know, in this day and age especially, uh, you know, live in doubt. You know, when yes. we are surrounded by a, a sea of lies and non-truths, that people will doubt that this is actually true. But in 35 years, we have never received a penny. Uh, neither Bob nor I, uh, from you know, Band Aid or Live Aid, Do They Know It's Christmas, the four different versions, you know, any of that stuff, 100% of the royalties goes directly to the Band Aid Trust. And I'm sure Bob will have more to say on that subject. I, I, well, yes, I, I think we can probably be sure of that. And, and I didn't realise, Bob Geldof, that, that there were even sort of rumours or, or, or ideas out there. Otherwise, I probably would have been a little bit more sensitive even to the question yesterday. How, how, how depressing and frustrating that must be. It is, but uh, let, let me just reiterate and absolutely guarantee and assure everyone and anyone listening, especially the people who kept reproducing it on Twitter, yes. and to Mitch's original point, the problem with... Um, a program of record like yours, yes. um, where you deal with people's conversations and talk about what's happening in the world today, is that it gets refed into the uh, Twitter sphere. And just like the line president of the United States, for many people, these become actual facts. And so they need to be nailed. And we put up with this for quite a long time. And Mitch and I just got sick of it uh, yesterday because it's dangerous because at this specific time of year, I don't want to go back 35 years, I don't want to get more of them, but every year at Christmas Band Aid receives thousands of pounds, if not hundreds of thousands, and over 35 years it's been tens and hundreds of millions, and that is because the record constantly plays in your supermarket annoyingly at Christmas or gets played on the radio. I think it's in the charts again. It gets picked up by Hollywood. One Hollywood movie gave it 650 grand for three seconds a couple of years back. And it constantly generates money for what, James? For the poorest people in the world. And 100%, like we said on the very first day it was played on the BBC morning show 35 years ago, 100% will go to those people. And I reiterate that. And Midge is there to confirm we don't take a penny. There's six of us in Band-Aid. None of us have taken a cup of coffee out of that money. And it, it pains you. And if it stops people helping again at this time of year, anyone, the homeless, the poor of Britain, listening to the record, playing the record. If it stops anyone, that is catastrophic. It really is. A, you know, I get emotional about this I 35 years on, but frankly, so does, so does Midge. And when Midge alerted me to what was what, you going mean you on... You mean you weren't listening to the show, Geldof? Of course. It, oh, well, thank you very much. Uh, uh, it is, we yeah. listen to these things. <laughs> no, but seriously, James, that's yes. the problem. I know it is. And I know you have a steward's inquiry on your show, but on a programme of record that deals in fact, it's so damaging to us. And, you know, I don't, again... Well, we'll, 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 we'll put this out. We'll clip this up. We'll put this out and we'll stick it on every Twitter feed that dared to suggest otherwise. But, but the guys who called in... Yes. And the guys who reproduced us... Look, as Midge said, Midge is far more temperate character than I, as you probably gathered, which is difficult. <laughs> it's to not hard. Irish, you know? <laughs> but, um, uh, it's, you know, of course. to those people, I hope you're listening. You got it wrong, and please repudiate it now. And uh, it's, the, the problem is you can go on the charity commissioner's site, which is to the public, they account to the public, who go over us with a tooth brush every year. You can go on to the PRS site. You can go on to uh, a Band-Aid general site. You can go to the accountant. So check these things out. Don't assume just because we've been through an election that was, you know, as Midge just suggested, what it was, you know, uh, conflated with utter lies, that everything that people do is a lie. I, I, is, I, I hear you. No, you we've got it. I'm true. just going to, in my, in my defence, I'm going to say that the, the what blew up on social media was quite different from what actually happened on the programme, where nobody really 
came away with the belief that... No, I listened to you, yeah, and, and two years, two, and you're quite right. You, you said, I don't, just, I don't believe this. Yes. But Twitter then takes it, and it becomes fed into this, uh, you know, this hatred that's generally abroad. And, and, this and one thing virtue that happened signaling. in 85, yes. this one thing, James, worked. For once in our bloody lives, something really did work. And many people just can't accept that. Absolutely. That somehow Geldof and Muir, yeah, they're stashing it away. One person on Twitter said, oh, well, I hope they enjoy spending it this Christmas. I want to say something very rude in your show to that, but I won't. Oh, well, I thank you for that, because it's me that would get punished, not you, as you, as, as you fully <laughs> oh, well, appreciate. Then I'll, then I'll say it. Do, do, nah, stop. Do we, um, do we have a figure? Is it just too big to actually <laughs> contemplate, or do we have a sum about... The, the, the total raise just from from one oh, song uh, it's it's in excess of 200 million bucks well that i mean that just speaks volumes doesn't it i, I i'm going to play a little clip of it now but of, yeah Sorry, that's about the intervention of uh, uh usa for africa that's of course. just band-aid and live aid because it's an ongoing thing the, the really sad thing is that when bob and i wrote the song we never saw anything happening with it beyond that first year no. you know you write a christmas song there's a good chance it's going to get in the charts or be on compilation albums that's the case for the last 35 years and and if we do sound a little missed by the 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 doubt that kind of hangs over our heads you have to understand, as Bob pointed out, we've got the charity commissions going through us like of a course. dose of salt. Of course. You know, we have, we have been under a microscope for 35 No, and, and I, hadn't, I didn't even realise until, until, until last night, actually, when, when, when I heard that you'd um, objected to what happened, that it was, a, was, that it was an ongoing rumour or an ongoing misrepresentation. Um, Midge or Bob Geldof, my apologies, and um, my thanks to you for setting the record so comprehensively straight. I have to do something a bit silly now, gentlemen, if that's all right, because when people ring into Mystery Hour with a qualification that is, is, is above and beyond any expectations that we might have, um, we, 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 we give them an award. So I'm going to play a little bit of the song first, and then I'm going to play a clip of Ray Liotta saying stuff that neither of you will have the vaguest understanding of why. But, but in the main and the most important element of this exchange, Bob Geldof, Midge, my apologies and thank you for what you did 35 years ago. And thank well, happy, you happy, Chris, happy Christmas, James. God and bless. happy Christmas to everyone listening, and especially those who got and, it wrong on Twitter. Exactly that. And, and of course, James, for standing up in our corner. You said the right thing. So thank you very much. Well, thank you, gentlemen. Well, well a lovely sort of festive happy feeling. But happy Christmas to both of you and God bless. A bit of the song first, please. Well, it's just an absolute spine tingler, isn't it? And here's something I never thought I'd do. Uh, Bob, Sir Bob Geldof, Mitch Your, this is for you. I'm Ray Liotta, and you're listening to James O'Brien on LBC. If you build it. They will come.